You deserve to live life on your own terms. You deserve that. And you need to go get it. And you do that with the three P's, right? Solving your past, setting your present, and fixing your proximity. Let's start at the at the first P, which is like past. I know a lot of you come in here and you guys hear gurus telling you all the time, forget about your fucking past, right? Forget about your past, move on, move past it, um, and go after your future. And I'm here to tell you, fuck that, right? Because too often we try to forget about our past, but what we don't know is that it's living every single day in our being. It's constantly holding us back, whether we think it is or not, right? It's in your subconscious mind. And so what I'm here to tell you is we need to find those areas in your past. And I'll tell you a little story about myself. A lot of you know this. Some of you know this about me. But for the longest period of time, obviously coming from being super broke, right? Poor parents, living in a trailer park, no money. Half the time didn't even have food in the fridge. Had to rob this freaking store to get spaghetti and all kinds of shit in the house, right? So super poor. And when I seen rich people, people that could just go in, buy whatever they want, drive the cars they want, do what they want, rich kids that had nice shoes, right? When I seen that stuff, I developed this hate in my heart, right? I developed this hate of like rich people were given what what they had. They didn't deserve it. They were given it, right? And so I had this past, this preconceived notion from my past that rich people were bad. So when it came to Joshua T. Osborne making money, when it came to Joshua T. Osborne trying to grind and grow, every time I would make money, I would give it away. I would do this with it. I would self-sabotage because I always had this thought in my mind that rich people were bad. So if I was doing better than my brother, if I was doing better than my sister, if I was doing better than my cousins, right? I felt bad for it because I felt like I was one of those rich people. Now I was one of those people that I once hated and still held hate in my heart with, right? And so until you solve those past preconceived notions that you have in your mind, that you have in your heart, that you have in your soul, you can't move past them to grow yourself, right? And so, and there's lots of things that come to that, guys. It's, it can be your past when it comes to Obviously, you know, hating rich people, it could be your past where it comes to like, you know, I was given up for adoption when I was 11 years old, right? And then given up for adoption again, and then given up for adoption, and then I had to live out of my truck, right? And so what was a preconceived notion I had that I couldn't be loved, right? I couldn't be fucking loved. Like Joshua T. Osborne didn't deserve love. I couldn't be loved, right? And that's a, that's an issue as well, because that's that's part of you deserving, right? And so I had to go in there and tell myself and, and solve those preconceived notions, solve those stories in my life, solve those past things in my life that were holding me back from achieving greatness, for going going for the goal, right? And so I want you guys to think about that today, tonight, now. Like what are these past things that are in, in your life present right now that are holding you back from achieving Holding you back from picking up the phone, holding you back. Maybe you go out and land a client and then you self-destruct. Maybe there's been times in your life to where you build shit up and you build it up really good and you put a lot of time, effort, heart, and soul into it, but it comes down crashing. It comes down crashing because you don't feel deserving. What are those things that are holding you back? What are those things that are stopping you from achieving greatness, right? And we have to solve that. We have to solve those past preconceived notions in our life. And like I said, you might start doing it right now in your life, but even when you get to Josh Osborne or Dan Klein's level or any anybody that you know, Elon Musk level, you're still doing this because as you grow, more things from your past start to become present in your mind, allowing you to see that you need to solve those things in order to move forward. And so wherever you are in your life right now, wherever you are in your journey right now, I'm, I'm unlike any other guru out there telling you to go just move past your past, forget your past, fuck your past. I'm not here to say that. I'm here to say, solve your past, overcome your past, gain power over your past. And that's how you gain the next level. Okay. So past, present. I talked to you guys about present 
all the time, right? Constantly talking to you guys about present and that's being present in what we want, right? What we want in life, family, fitness, finance, and faith, getting clear on what you want is the most, one of the most important things you can do in your life. Knowing what you want, why you want it, and how you're going to go get it is really the biggest aha moment you're ever going to have. And if you can continue to grind, develop those skills, those, 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 those visions, right? And visualize that kind of stuff. That's why we preach this every fucking day to you guys. It's like present is so important. What do you want? Because we can solve our past, but if we don't have a bright future, if we don't have something to look forward to, then we sit in our comfortability zones. We stay doing what we're doing today. We never grow. We never expand. And growth is where happiness lies. Growth is where you need to be. Growth is what you're here to achieve. And so in order to do that, you have to get clear. You got to dig into your family goals. You got to dig into your fitness goals, your health goals, right? Your fitness, your finance goals, right? Your faith goals, building that faith in yourself. You got to dig in. You got to own it. You got to take control. Okay. And that's your present level. And then the last thing I want to talk, touch base with you guys on before we jump in here with this Q and a here tonight, um, is proximity. I think it's really important. A lot of you, 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 you come in, you start working on your past, you get present, you start, you start doing your family, fitness, finance, faith, start setting your goals. You do good. You go out there and you start hitting home runs, right? You start landing a client here, doing this, doing that, but you don't change up your proximity right? So you land a client, you go tell your cousin, your cousin kind of rolls his eyes, doesn't believe it, right? And you got to go land five more before they even believe it, but you're still stuck around that negativity. You're still stuck around those people that aren't there to bring you up. They're there to bring you back down to their level. So they feel comfortable. And so your proximity is important. What are you doing with your time? Who are you hanging out with? Who are you surrounding yourselves with every single day, right? Because that's important. Proximity is very important. The three P's put together is your success guide, is your goal, is what you should be focused on at all times. You should constantly be focused on that. You can't let yourself get pulled away. You can't let yourself get stuck in bullshit, right? And that's what I see a lot of people doing is that you get in, you set these goals for yourself, you start working on your past, you start overcoming the past things that may have happened to you are some of the stories you're telling yourself from your past, right? You set those huge lofty goals, but you don't change your proximity, which pulls you back down to be just like the people around you before, right? It doesn't give you the growth that you desire. It holds you there stagnant for other people's comfortability. And I'm here to tell you, stop. Stop satisfying others. Stop settling for less. You deserve to have the life of your dreams. You deserve to live life on your own terms. You deserve that. And you need to go get it. And you do that with the three Ps, right? Solving your past, setting your present, and fixing your proximity.